The person in this problem is standing on frictionless horizontal ice. That means there's no external force in the horizontal direction, so that momentum in that direction is conserved. Whatever the x component of momentum is in some initial state, it will have the same value in some later final state. We're asked in part A to find the person's recoil speed if he fires a bullet horizontally. The bullet has a mass, m sub b, and is fired at a speed, v sub b. And the person recoils backwards to the left at this speed, and the person's mass is m sub p, p for person. We'll solve this part using conservation of momentum. The initial state is before the bullet is fired. Nothing's moving, so there's no momentum. In the final state, two things are moving. The bullet is traveling in the positive direction, so it has momentum, mass of the bullet, times velocity of the bullet, positive. And the person is moving in the negative direction, so mass of the bullet times the recoil velocity, that's in the negative direction, so minus mpvr. Solve this for the person's recoil speed. and substitute all the numbers. To find that, the recoil speed is 0 0.559 meters per second, and is to the left in the negative direction as we showed in the figure. Part B asks us to find the recoil speed if the bullet is fired at 56 degrees above the horizontal. I'll draw that in green here. where theta is 56 degrees. Again, we'll conserve momentum in the horizontal direction. There's no momentum in the initial state before the bullet's fired. After the bullet's fired, we can separate the bullet's velocity into components. Here is the x component. It's the speed of the bullet times cosine of theta in the positive x direction. So its momentum is mass of the bullet times that velocity component. And the person is again moving in the negative direction, so we get minus mp v sub r for their momentum. Solve this for the recoil speed again, and substitute all the numbers. Finding that the recoil speed in this case is 0 0.0313 meters per second, slower than it was in part A.